to stop number 24 in the Mellon Yellow Racing Series brings us to South Boston Speedway in my hometown of South Boston, Virginia. <laughs> okay, let me cut. Okay, let me cut the gag here. This is actually this is actually my real voice, not you know. I'm just, I'm just because I'm at South Boston Speedway. I'm just I can't resist but to imitate Ward Burton. <laughs> but we are here at South Boston Speedway here to hometown of the Burton brothers, Ward and Jeff, obviously. As we're here today for running a South Boston 300, stop, the 24th stop in the Mellon Yellow Racing Series Tour. As we're here for 76 laps, 76, laps racing, 76 laps of racing on the next to the shortest of the short tracks that we run on this on this series. Only Colorado National Speedway has a, is a shorter distance than this track is. This track is four tenths of a mile long, if this gives you an idea. So starting lineup for the next running event here on the pole, it's Quentin Moore. Car number 97, the Fisher Engineering Winter Circle Auto Parts Buick. He's flanked by car number two, the McDetroit Gasket Buick of Dylan Young, one of the points contenders for the season's championship. Second row is car number 52, Seth Cole, and beside him will be number 33, Nick Gunther. Third row is as Raphael Duke in car 72. He's alongside number 15, Stephen Colon, on the outside. Next row down is car number 28, Keith Batson, the Texaco Haviland Ford, and number 47, Jesse Turner, on the outside. Next row down is number 51, Laura Chung, in the Valvoline Pontiac, and number 17, Audra Baranowskis, in the, in the Exxon Superflow Chevrolet. Next row down is Alex Miller, in 44, and number 63, Henry Sanford, then it's number 36, Joshua Osborne, in the Cox Street Lumber Pontiac. Finished second last race in the tour at Kentucky Speedway. He's alongside number seven, number seven, that is Destin Boland in the Skull Bandit Buick. Next right now is car number eight, Cole Deaver in the GM Government Chevrolet, and number five, Phil Parker in the Advanced Auto Parts Buick. Next right now is car number 89, Jessica Shelton. The Coors Melling Ford, she has one of her three in-car cameras in today's race, along also with Cole Deaver and Joshua Osborne. Besides Shelton will be car number 99, that is uh, Zach Winkle and the wheel of his Buick. <clears throat> Next row down has car number 06, that is Zachary Fitzwater, who won the last race in the tour at Kentucky. He also won in Atlanta this season. He's alongside car number 27, that is Logan Williams. Next row down is number 75, John Andrews, and number 12, Amanda Evans. Since number 31, Roberto Crown Jr., and number 10, Ryan Brommer, sitting on the outside. Next row down is number 84, that is Eric Monaco, and beside him will be number 83, Austin Reed. Then it's number 37, that is the car of Daniel Bouchard, and number 22, Caleb Vogler, at the wheel of the A.G. Dior Buick. Next row down is number 21, that's Carson Gum in the Chattanooga Chew Buick, and number 32, Gabby Conklin, in the Bud Light Buick. Then it's number 88, the Winter Circle Auto Parts Buick of... Matt Haas, he's alongside number one, that is Jackson Haywood. Next row down is car number 14, Allison Rain. Still in contention for the championship, though, but she has to come from way out back. She's beside number double zero, James Sykes. Next row down is number 25, James Henry, and number 23, Daniel Voiles. Next row down is car number three, Nathan Orman, and number 11, that's that's um, Bale Mosco, pair of Chevy Monte Carlos in that row. And starting shotgun, Chrisman Morgan in 34, and Paul Minnick. In car number six. So that's your starting lineup for today's running of the um, South Boston 300. As we are set for 76 laps of racing on this four tenths mile oval, right in the, in the heart of South Boston, Virginia. As we are as as after this race ends, we will have about. About I think four races left to go to go on the season here, and all of them will be in conjunction with the Cup Series. And here's the and here's the command to get them uh, get underway here at South Boston. Command given the party engines as we're separate racing here today as we, as the field, pace leaves the field off a pit road as the pace leaves the field run for the pace up pace up the for the start of the race right after this. What a shot there to spectator view, giving us this point of view here at South Boston Speedway. This is the pace car leads uh, comes on the pit road. Green flag flies are underway in the South Boston 300, and you're going to get a view of racing 
from this point of view here at South Boston Speedway, night time, night time racing for the Meliola Racing Series. And I bet you can tell right away that this is going to be all out, no holds barred racing here today at South Boston Virginia as they come off turn number four. Quentin Morley, the first and the second lap of this race here as we watch Keith Batson and Rafael LaDuke go at it here. As you see, the, let's see, look at these cars here battling here. Three wide between Laura Chung, uh, Stephen Cologne, and Dylan Young going at it here for position. That is, that's, that's for fifth position, which Laura has right now. There's Nick Gunther backing up to the field here. Jessica Shelton getting by him in car number 89. On board with Jessica Shelton as she uh, falls behind Dylan Young, Cole Deaver, and Joshua Osborne. This track has the bullring style like Bristol Motor Speedway, but it's also got the bank, the banking like Martinsville, which explains why the lap speeds are at about maybe 95 to uh, almost 100 miles an hour. I don't think we'll be hitting. See, I don't think we'll see 100. They are close, so at 98, 99 miles an hour a lap here, as Quentin Moore continues to lead this race here, as we as we have completed now seven laps here, we are down to 69 to go. And these 69 laps will fly by quickly here on a track like this, too. As we mentioned, four-tenths of a mile in length there in laps, in laps times. I would imagine about less than 20 seconds a lap. And it's about like the, about like the laps we'll have, we have it usually at Bristol, which, of course, if you, if you know that track here, laps at Bristol take about 15 seconds to complete a lap. Keith Batson set in second position. Third is Laura Chung. Fourth is Seth Cohen. Keith Batson's on pit road, car number 28. The second place drivers on pit road. Oh man, and how many times have we seen cars though, who are running good early or late in the race though come on pit road for an unscheduled stop here this season in this series though. I don't know what's going on here. And Batson coming in for an unscheduled stop there. They're gonna change tires on the on the Texaco Havlin board. There's two of them. Oh no! They're gonna, he's gonna, they're gonna go for all four tires. This is gonna cost him about two or three laps here. And Batson, one of the drivers, are trying to get himself in the, in the contention in the points. So, as well too, it'll be about it'll be in the top ten in the points. So, and Jesse Turner's on pit road. So car number forty-seven on pit road, along with the twenty-eight car here. Two unscheduled stops here, going at it here at Bristol or at. Where are we, Qualls? At South Boston Speedway. And Batson's now being put a third lap down. Turner being put a second lap down here. And there's Turner. He's about to, he's now pulling ahead of he's now coming off pit road here. 35 miles around a pit road speed limit here at South Boston Speedway here. And, he, and he's back on the track there. And he is <laughs> he's now put a he's, be, he's, be, he's now three laps from three laps three laps down in this race here. Batson's now four down in this race here. So so Turner's pulled ahead of Batson right now in this race. As Quentin Moore continues to lead this race here, as Laura Chung is now the new second place runner. Third is third is Cole Deaver. Fourth position right now is Stephen Cologne. Fifth is Rafael LaDuke. Sixth is Dylan Young. Seventh is Matt Haas. Eighth position right now belonging to Carson Gunn, but a battle for eighth between him and Zachary Fitzwater and Seth Cole. And Paul Minnick, I don't know what race day setup he's got underneath that hood of that six car, under that six car here. And I know we've been commenting about this car's performance a lot this season. The last half of the season, though, but that six car... Started 40th in this racer, and he's already worked his way up into the top 10 in 20 laps. That car is just absolutely amazing.
three wide going on here. Bail Mosco, Nick Gunther, and the 37 car of um, Daniel Bouchard. And those three cars. Oh, then Gunther gets turned by Bouchard here. He, he's going he's gonna to take Zach Winkle and Jessica Shelton. And Allison Rain, one of the points contenders, is involved in the crash. And Gunther was up there in the points as well, too, in the 33 car. That's going to cost yellow flag number one to fly. On lap number 22 of this race. Take a look again as to what happened there to cause the first yellow to fly here at South Boston Speedway. Gunther gets the push from, yeah, he thought he was clear of the 37 car of Daniel Bouchard. And just about, and put the 33 car up on two wheels there, two wheels here. You see Roberto Crown Jr. in the 31 car gets involved, the Fat Boys Barbecue Ford. And see, there see, there's where um, Winkle gets involved, Jessica Shelton got a piece of it in the 89 car. Alex Miller gets a piece over there, there. Oh, and there's where Allison Rain got involved in the 14 machine. And Audra Baranowskis also got turned as well, too, the 17 car. I don't know how she got turned. And Audra got trying to get off the 84 car. Eric Monaco getting gets, gets cuts right in front of Jesse Turner. And since Nathan Ormond into the wall as well, too, in the 3 car... I bet you Turner was. I tell you, I, tell you, I think um, when Baronelsis came back in front of Turner's car here, I bet you Turner was about thinking, "What was that all about?" But Audra's still out there, running 35th right now in this race. So, albeit, albeit uh, running right now, uh, one lap down here. Allison Rain already out of the race here because of that crash. Pace car on the pit road right now. Green flies about the fly here. Four cars on the inside lane. Again, all four of the, again, those four not on the lead lap here. That is Jesse Turner, Audra Baranowskis, Nathan Orman, and the 33 of Nick Gunther. Quentin Moore is your leader here at South Boston Speedway as he uh, <coughs> has already got two cars, uh, three cars ahead of this uh, between him and second place runner right now, Laura Chung. But here comes Rafael LaDuke. And, and, and Stephen Cologne spins in 15 car. Zach Winkle gets a, is against the wall in the 99 car. Chrisman Morgan was in it as well, too, in, a, in the 34 car. There's Cologne in 15, then Levi Garrett Chevrolet. And just takes his frustration out on the 32, on the 22 car of Caleb Fogler. Even though I think he did nothing wrong in this whole deal. Chrisman Morgan coming down pit road for to repair the damage on that number 34 machine. Cologne was running in fifth position or trying to get by Nathan or trying to get by the A car of Cole Deaver. He tries to turn Cole Deaver around and he gets turned sideways here. And then gets turned by the 06 car of Zachary Fitzwater and then just turns and just goes into the wall right there. There's where Cologne's backwards spinning. Amazingly, a lot of drivers got uh, missed him right here too. And I don't know if anyone who, see who else got involved here. There's John Andrews, seventy-five car. He turns, he gets in the Cologne's car, just about flipped them over. There's a ten car, Brian Brommer, Jessica Shelton, and eighty-nine to seven car of Destin Bowen. There's where Morgan got into the fifteen car. And turn him into the wall and turn and crash into him. So car number fifteen, hard luck for that number. For, so hard luck for car fifteen, and he is out of the race, unfortunately for him. There, as you see, the as seen uh, as he actually.
Okay, he's out of the race there along with Christopher Morgan and Allison Reigns. So, <clears throat> so pace car leading the field around here, lap number 33. It's Quentin Moore, your leader. We'll be back for the restart right after this. Caleb Fogler on pit road right now here for an unscheduled stop as the pace car comes on the pit road. Green flag flies. Back underway, lap number 35 here at South Boston Speedway. Almost a halfway point in this race here. Halfway, of course, will be lap number 37 in this race. Quentin Moore leader. Second position is Rafaela Duke. Third is Laura Chung. Cole Deaver fourth. And Matt Haas, or actually I say Dylan Young right now, running in fifth position here at this track here. Jesse Turner now pulls ahead as long, along also with Ormond, and here comes Audra Baranowskis to the left side. You now see all three of them trying to get back on the lead lap, but we can get a catch a yellow flag here, and now Nick Gunther trying to do the same thing here. As, as Dylan Young now goes inside of Raphael Duke for second place. Now in car number two, there he is, the Detroit Gasket Buick. Here comes car number eight, Cole Deaver down the left side, the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. On board, Cole Deaver's car, car number eight. He'll, he'll be he'll be jumping in a good wrench number three. When we go to the short track south of, south of here at North Wilkesboro Speedway, North North Carolina, for the Casual GGX Cup Series uh, Holly Farms 400. And now Deaver tries to move underneath here of Quentin Moore's. Moore's up on the high side. Deaver's on the low side. Actually, make that Dylan Young's now your leader. Actually, not the Quentin Moore. Dylan Young's now your leader. The number two Detroit Gasket Buick out in front here as Quentin Moore's now has automatically got the five points for leading the most laps here as he's as he's led for half the race here today. And one car upside down is Seth Cohen. Fifty-two is upside down. The Red Baron Frozen Pizza Chevrolet. And I think oh, did the seventeen car crash into him? I see a hood buckle in the 17 car. Yeah, Audra Baranowskis, I think, got into the 52 car. Seth Cole, just as Seth was disappearing. So Seth Cole, is how, here's what happened here. He got turned by Matt Haas in the 88 car. Then there you see the five car of Phil Parker gets in the, in the, into the set as well too. Alex Miller in the 44 car trying to get by Phil Parker as well too. There's where Seth, Seth gets into the wall. Now here, here comes the rest of the field rider pointing at him. Jackson Haywood gets into him in the one car that turns him over. And everybody else just comes to a dead stop here trying to get um, trying to keep from hitting trying to keep from hitting the crash car Seth Cole here. You saw Sykes, Reed, Winkle, and Monaco all get by, as well as the twenty three of Voiles and the thirty one of Crown. And Seth's car gets gets back on all four wheels here, but the damage already done for the on the fifty two machine. We'll restart here. We'll, we'll be back for the restart right after this. Pace car's lights are off right now here. Dylan Young is now your leader here. Second position is, <coughs> is Cole Deaver. Third is Quentin Moore. Fourth position is Carson Gum now. Um, Rafael Duke is fifth. Sixth is Zachary Fitzwater. Seventh is Daniel Bouchard. Fayol Moss goes in eighth. Ninth is Laura Chung. And James Henry is in tenth. Green flag back out. Back underway. Lap number 46. We're, we're down to 31 to go here at South Boston. Dylan Young won the season at Watkins Glen in uh, up in New York. His is his win coming uh, that win coming on a road course, obviously. Here, here comes Cole Deaver down the left side. He's got him and Quentin Moore trying to um, close up. Here comes Quentin. Here comes I should say Deaver on the left side. Three three wide bow here. That's Chung, Andrews, and Carson Gum. And now. 
Lara trying to get up underneath there, trying to get herself in a position here. And now Veil Mosca, look at that 11 car go, gets by Quentin Moore for that third position. How about Veil Mosca to Skull Chevrolet now going in here, moving up to the position here. Now Chung goes inside in 51. Alex Miller getting into it in the 44 machine. Here comes Henry Sanford, 63 car. We haven't talked about him at all today. He's running now in ninth position here as they see uh, Phil Parker trying to get by Carson Gunn, Gabby Conklin, Joshua Osborne is in this mix here. Rafael Duke in car number 72 as you jump inside with Joshua Osborne in 36 machine. Winner of the season at Oswego Speedway earlier in the season. Joshua running in 11th position right now. That is what racing looks like on a 4 tenths mile bull ring at about 95 miles an hour plus here at South Boston Speedway. From the in-car camera view of Joshua Osborne, a Cox's Street Limer Pontiac. Right now, Dylan Young is in command right now, leading this race here. As we're down to 21 to go here, here at South Boston Speedway. Caleb Fogler coming back on the track right now in the AG dealer Buick. Zachary Fitzwater is now second position. Third is Vale Moscow. Fourth is Laura Chung. Alex Miller's in fifth position. Sixth is Henry Sanford. Seventh is Jesse. Seventh position right now is, is Cole Deaver. Eighth is Gabby Conklin. Quentin Moore, ninth. And Carson Gum is in tenth position as they come off turn number four right now. Quentin now gets tries to get by Gabby Conklin. That's for eighth position there as Quentin gets by. There you see the field right there. There's the uh, there's the field look uh, how, the, how the field looks like right now here. Three wide going on right there. Nick Gunther on the outside, Jessica Shelton on the middle, and Daniel Bouchard on the left side. Now and out right now. Bouchard running 13th, Shelton in 14th, and and Leduc in 15th. I should make that Leduc in 14th, Shelton 13th, and Bouchard in 12th. Here comes that sixth car, Paul Minnick, trying to get himself back up, up in the contention here. That's for ninth position between he and Carson Gum. Closing up right now on 12 laps to go here at South Boston Speedway here. Jesse Turner again, the 47 car is not on the lead lap. He is right now running in 33rd position. He is right now currently... Four laps down here. Cars out race here. Jackson Haywood, Seth Cole, Stephen Cologne, Chrisman Morgan, and Allison Rain. Keith Basson still sitting on pit road 54 laps down for some inexplicable reason. And how about Henry Sanford, 63 car here. That's the little brother of Charles Sanford. Henry right now running in fourth position right now. I'm sure... Um, Charles gotta be happy with that run out of his little brother. But Zachary Fitzwater trying to close up. They're looking for two wins in a row here at the 06 machine. 
as he has got as he has got eight laps to catch Dylan Young, who leads this race here. Number two, the Detroit Gasket Buick. This car will have New Holland as as sponsor for next season. It'll be a Chevrolet. And boy, Young close up dramatic. And boy, Young slowed up dramatically here. Here comes Fitzwater, number 06 to the left side. Caleb Fogler kind of held Young up a little bit right there. And boy, Fitzwater close up by a half a second right there. 31 hundredths of a second right now between the front two cars. Coming by to complete lap number 71. We'll be down to five to go. Boy, is Fitzwater going to try to pull it off for two wins in a row? See what happens here. As he is now close up the inside of Young to the low side of the track off turn number four. If those two tangled up there, Laura Chung could be in the, could be in the catbird seat. She's in third position right now. She's close up on the front two cars now as well, too. She's almost a full second back of the front two machines here. Come by now for three laps remaining. Nathan Orman trying to get by the um, Audra Baranowskis automobile. Two to go now for Dylan Young. Four tenths of a second right now between the front two cars here. Is Dylan Young going to hold him off? Here comes Fitzworth on the low side of Young for the lead. On to number four, the white flag waves. One more lap remaining. Fitzworth on the low side of Young. Zachary Fitzwater, car 06 them here to the low side. He gets held up on his 17 car, but he's going to pull ahead of Dylan Young. Zachary Fitzwater on the last lap pass wins at South Boston Speedway. Zachary Fitzwater to 06 Carolina Ford dealers Ford on a final lap pass. Beats Dylan Young to win the South Boston 300. Dylan Young's got to be sick about that. The lap traffic held him up just enough for Fitzwater to, to take command and win the event title here. Average speed 77.886 miles an hour. And it is Fitzwater's third victory of the season, adding on to his wins at Kentucky and at Atlanta this season. Here it is his first victory of the season on a short track. Dylan Young comes home second, Laura Chung third, fourth will go to Henry Samper, fifth will go to Cole Deaver, Quentin Moore sixth, Carson Gum seventh, Paul Minnick eighth, ninth position will go to, to Vale Moscow, and tenth will go to Alex Miller. Uh... Gabby Conklin comes home in 11th position. 12th, we we'll go to Bouchard. Dana Bouchard, that is. James Sykes, 13th. Raphael LaDuke, 14th. 15th, will go to Jessica Shelton. 16th, Amanda Evans. 17th, will go to James Henry. 18th, Destin Bowen. 19th, Daniel uh, Boyles. And Eric Monaco will come home in 20th. Then Logan Williams, Joshua Osborne, Austin Reed, Phil Parker, Roberto Crown Jr., Ryan Brommer, Matt Haas, Zach Winkle, Nathan Orman, and Audra Baranowskis, the top 30. All 30 of those drivers on the lead lap. And there are the 30 cars that finished on the lead lap in today's race. <coughs> cars that finished a lap or more down here. The Nick Gunther, uh, John Andrews, J K K Jesse Turner, and Caleb Fogler was the last car to finish this race in 34th position here. Cars out of race here. Jackson Haywood, Seth Cole, Chris Stephen Colon, Chris Morgan, Allison Rain. And basically the scores Keith Bassin 66 laps down, but he is basically out of the race here after about... 10 laps. <coughs> but that will do it here today at South Boston Spirit. Congratulations once again to Zachary Fitzwater on a, on a fantastic final lap pass to win the event here in the South Boston 300. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Inner Series Sports Gaming channel. We got everything on this channel. We got Inner Races. We got gaming videos. We got Inner, we got inner Online videos. Whatever the president of the Inner Series says in the CRA, Seth the desires I have for this channel. Be sure to check out Seth Store Cell Cup Series, the main series on his channel. And, be sure, and if you want in on future seasons of Seth Store Cell Cup Series, be sure to get with Seth and he'll get you going. And also be sure to check out our two channels that does in the CRA Offline Series. 
Those channels being X867539858X. That's Dylan Young's channel, the man who finished second here today. He uh, is the man who does the NSA Spectrum, Spectrum Mobile Cup series. Let's check out his channel for some cool stuff, and also check out Levi McIntyre's channel. Flash Man 99 for some cool stuff as well, too, including his series, the Mar NSA Marvel Studios Cup series. So that would do it here today at South Boston. Here, but now it's James Gloss. This has been a production of the NSA series, celebrating 10 years of offline racing. As best, we'll see you for the Casual GTX Cup series race, the, first, the Tyson Holly Forms 400 at North Wilkesboro.